I want to show you this awesome product called R Crud Cutter Rust Neutralizer. You can check the description. There's a link on how to find it on Amazon. But this stuff, you spray it on. You don't have to wipe it down or anything. You come back in just a few hours. It's neutralized, ready for paint. So enjoy the video. Don't forget, check the link. And this is just that cool crud cutter rust remover. This is not the rust from us. This is just a bottle, but it is the same stuff. All I'm going to do is just apply it generously along here. Now I'm warning you, you got to put something to drip down. It's not looking so bad now, but it does not agree with concrete. And it says there right on the label. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat this and then let it set up overnight. It's approximately four o'clock today. On <laughs> Thursday, gotta go get some breath. Remember, ventilated room, guys. And we are gonna finish this one up. And even the front, getting all this off. All right, time to get to work. I think it's time to maybe close the door, put on the AC, put music back on. This is the stuff I've been using. A must for rust crud cutter. And it said that this 32 ounce bottle was discontinued and I panicked, but then I found this by the same company in the one gallon form and put it in the spray bottle and it works unbelievable. So take a look at these pictures I'm gonna post. And you know, I did wasn't planning on on documenting all this, but here's some pictures of the pan when it was first upside down and how it looked and how it looks now and how it's going to look after it's painted. The pen had a lot of surface rust from the beach weather, salty sand and the whatnot, but it wasn't, you know, there was no real significant rot or no cancer at all. So we got the thing taken apart and, you know, saw the pan was strong enough and healthy enough for us to do some rust conversion on it so we get out the right chemicals and went to town on it all right i want to make a little correction i keep saying degreasing it and i'm not degreasing it just had a few spots that i had to do but what i'm doing is this rust prevention and converting it to an iron oxide and as you can see this was all rusty and now that's bare metal and this has brought up all the paint All in here, and if you look, I mean, even the cradle for the motor had the most corrosion. It wasn't even, you know, it wasn't really corrosion. It was just a lot of oxidization from being at the beach. All in here, this area here was really corroded. You know, I still got a little ways to go. You put this stuff on and you wait 24 hours. Now, I'm not patient enough to wait 24 hours. And they say, do not allow it to get on concrete. Well, I've washed this thing a couple of times and I guess I've messed up my horrible paint. As you can see, I still have some wet areas where it's still doing its trick. And so I went down here, ground down all my, all my uh, spot welds and treated it all in here. All underneath this cradle like I said it was really rusty and that looks bare metal now all right so in the morning I'm gonna go ahead and flip this thing over and give the whole bottom side of the cradle and everything a paint job some high heat black gloss same thing up here all this will be painted top and bottom and then I will continue fitting the pan sections on. What happened is this passenger side, I had the wrong one. It was at three inches too short and I wanted to make it match, so. All right, that's it for now. Super easy way to get rid of rust by using a crud cutter. All right, don't forget to check the link in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Come along with me on this adventure. Thanks for watching. Filet TV.